when you hear about this kind of opportunity that you are going to win a gold glove, what goes through your head? What does it mean? Um, just very thankful. I think uh, for me, it's a lot of hard work. You know, I mean, when I started catching, I got handed catcher's gear. Like, hey, you're going to be a catcher. Uh, and just like the people along the way, all my catching coaches, all the people that kind of influenced me. Um, and just it's just a lot of hard work. Like, I mean, defense is dirty. You got to get dirty, especially in the catch position. You got to do the hard stuff. It, that kind of answers my next question, but I'll ask it anyway. Great defense. Mm -hmm. Is it science or is it art? Which one is it? Uh, I'll take it as an art. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff you have to do, you know, with your body. You know, you have to know how to move. You have to know how to block a ball, throw a ball, catch a ball. So for me, it's an art. It's something you can do over and over again and get better at. If you don't mind, you might have to switch, uh, switch hands with your mic. But when I hear someone's an elite framer, and I'm an <laughs> 11 ERA guy, <laughs> Just show me something. Show me something that, I mean, that a young, like with, with that hand, like if, if you want to give, if I ran into you in a Starbucks and said, hey, I'm a young catcher, what do I do to frame better? What would um, you say? First thing i tell you is you just got to catch the ball. That's the main thing, catch the ball and then catch it clean. Uh, but for me, like I've been taught to stay under the baseball. So as much as I can, I want to stay under the baseball for as long as I can. And at the last second, I want to be able to snap the ball up, kind of rip up towards the umpire's eyes. Uh, just so he doesn't know how low the ball really is. But from there, I just say, stay below the baseball and rip up. So the work that no one sees, I'm always intrigued by that. How much work do you do that no one sees defensively? Uh, a lot. I think, uh, I mean, this is just kind of a staple with it because like uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff I do. I, I sit off a machine and I'm like, all right, if I need to get better at blocking, turn the machine up on sliders and let's get better at blocking. If I need to receive better, turn the machine up to 100 and let's catch some baseballs. Um, but it goes all around. It plays at the plate, bump plays, you know, everything like that. So uh, I, I take a lot of pride in it. And um, I'm able to have two of my, my favorite catching guys here today that have helped me along the way. Uh, there's obviously some more guys in the past, but these two have, have been a big uh, big help for me. So expound upon your guys. Why yeah. were they your guys oh, and man. what did they like? Uh, by name, who uh, were they? Tanner Swanson and Bobby Wilson. Uh, Bobby Wilson kind of introduced me to the one knee down stuff. Uh, you know that some people don't like but it helps it helps to change my career um, and just having a relationship with Bobby being open about like hey this feels like this this doesn't feel right and then being traded from Texas to New York you know Tanner Swanson was one of the guys that kind of was like hey I think you can people can be better if they go down to a knee and so being able to work with him every day was awesome just, those two guys man they uh they helped me along the way, and I, I, I told them, I was like, this one day I'm going to win a gold glove. Like, I, I want to win a gold glove, and, you know, we're here. In the locker room, on the field, the patch on that catcher's mitt that's gold, what does that say to opposing players? What does that say to your teammates? No, I think that's, uh, for me, it's just, you know, it's an honor. Uh, for me specifically, just because I love defense. Like, I love defense a lot. I take a lot of pride in it. So, for me, you know, it's, it's an honor for my teammates. I hope they can depend on me. And then the final question. Can I can I go hang out with you when you were throwing tennis balls off helicopters? Oh yeah, how and did how you hear much, about uh, that? I hear things. Wow. I hear things. So yeah. your dad's a, a great mechanic technician of helicopters. To me, that had to make you a better catcher tracking that yeah. that tennis ball. Well, yeah, I would just go. We just go pick him up from work, and I'd have a ball with me, just bouncing it. And he'd be working, and I'd just be throwing it off the helicopter, just like, all right, catch it, throw it, catch it, throw it, catch, and just go over and over again. Now that's how you learn to frame right there. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Congratulations, thank you friend. so much.